1999, Amber released her biggest hit, Sexual. That recording hit number one in both the United States and Europe and remained there for phenomenal 18 weeks. So let's join our host, Mickey Burns, as he welcomes the beautiful and talented Amber to Profiles. Amber, welcome to Profiles. Hi, Mickey. And welcome to this beautiful music hall at Snug Harbor on Staten Island. Thank you. First time here? First time here. Love the place. Good. Uh, and of course, many millions of fans love you right now. Your career is on a roll. Uh, most recently, your last hit, Above the Clouds, almost number one again. Uh, and before that, came right on the back of Sexual, which was number one internationally for 16 weeks. Mm. Uh, what's, what's the key to all the success, and how does it feel to be on such a positive roll with your career? The key? I don't know what the key is. <laughs> um, I guess you're just doing the right thing um, by heart. Um, I think what, uh, what keeps me going for that long, one thing is for sure, is that you have to have a lot of discipline. Because um, it's something that I always wanted to do, and I really, really work hard for it. Um, and I think that if you do not have it in here, you're not going to last. I mean, if you haven't slept more than three hours a night for four, uh, uh, for four days, then you have to come to a point where you say, do you really want this? Do you not really want this? Sure, and uh, sure. it's something that's been within my family for generations and music, so. Now, your tour schedule, I was looking at that the other day, and you're everywhere, all over the United States, and you're working almost every other day. Do you take a break in between days because you need to recoup? Because I know your stage act, a lot of dancing, high energy act. Do you need a day to recoup, or can you work several days in a row? I can work several days in a row, but um, definitely in between, you start to scream like, stop right now, I need one day off. So you do need that. <laughs> of course, you need like sometimes a day to recoup, but then again, when you have a day off, you still don't get to do nothing, really, mm -hmm. because then it's just interviews coming in, or, oh, we want to talk about this, or we have to go over certain things, you know. But hey, that's what it takes, right. and, and um, I'm in for it, and I'm having success so far, so I, I consider myself very, very lucky and very, very blessed. Your career really has taken off, and you've only been in this country since 1996? I actually, yeah, I, I lived here since 1999, January 1999, but um, I lived in the Netherlands before, so that meant for me that I had to travel every two weeks, you might say, I had, a, uh, I had to fly over to of the United States to do a lot of shows in a row and I wanted to get home to my family too in between but after a while it just got so much that I had to decide really to move over here also in order to stay uh, closer to my record company. Very quickly, how does a girl, a, a Dutch girl, girl like yourself from the Netherlands, lived in Germany, get to the United States? How did that happen? That was a really weird situation. <laughs> Um, I met some producers in Germany that um, said, you know, we really would like to work with you. And we sat down together and we wrote the song, This Is Your Night, that came out in It just took off so fast. They told me that we have a major deal here in New York, and I was shocked. I was like, my God, New York, I thought it would happen in Germany, maybe, you know. Mm -hmm. So I had to make my mind up very quickly, and we got signed, and um, it went straight to, I think, like top 20. It stayed in the charts for almost a year. And, um, you know, everything else after that, the song One More Night, If You Could Read My Mind, all these songs just Right, the Gordon Lightfoot kept, yeah, from the 60s. Yeah, kept, it just kept going. And so I had to make my mind up at one point to say, you know, just in order to stay more, to cl be closer to your record company and be closer to your heavy working ground and also uh, my creative control part, which I write most of the stuff myself. Um, I want to stay more on top of things, and that's when I decided to move over here. Well, we spoke at Miracle on 34th Street yeah. uh, in December, 
And I realize after speaking with you, there's much more to you than, than just the dance diva. Uh, your parents were also musically inclined. A lot of people don't realize that. Uh, tell us a little bit about your parents. <clears throat> my father's an opera singer. Uh, my mother is a piano teacher and also songwriter. Um, I just recently found out about a year ago that my great-grandmother founded the first girl group in 1901. <laughs> so that's really a funny thing. Uh, her father, again, was a composer and a, a, pian a pianist, or pianist, how you say pianist. it? Pianist. Um, and my grandfather was also a composer and a pianist. Um, and it just goes on for generations. And I think it's something that's within you that you really want to do. I mean, we learn to express ourselves ourselves uh, with music from a young age on. It was just mm -hmm. a kind of language that we were using within our family. Some people take French, English, with German, or Absolutely. dance as a body language, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. we express it in writing music. And um, I think in the end, there was nothing else I wanted to do. So um, I feel blessed again, you know, that I ended up in this right. business. Now you've also, uh feel that, I, I believe that you have a lot to say, and do you feel that doing it in the type of music that you're kind of locked into now is fulfilling that need for you? Uh, I don't really feel myself locked in, and I think it's more in the eye of the beholder to say, oh, she's locked in, or she's only, you know, doing this or doing that. I think people who have listened to my second album um, hear very well that there's a variety of music styles I can go and I want to go and I am going. Um, people always say, oh, dance music. Mm -hmm. What is that? I think, what is that? It's up-tempo music that people can dance to, but it doesn't have to do anything with shallowness or, you know, you can have a deep lyric to it. And, uh, I mean, you can dance to rock music. You can dance to any kind of music. And um, my goal is definitely that, you know, I want to represent myself in a variety of music. Um, and I think it's getting there. People start recognizing that I'm not just a disposable puppet. Um, they come to the conclusion right now, like, hey, there's a lot more to her, which is good. I mean, I know it for myself, so that's the most important thing. My parents know it for themselves. That's the most important thing. And in speaking with, with you uh, that night after the concert, uh, one thing you were concerned about was that even though you've had so many hits in such a short period of time, that not everyone was able to put a face to the music. Yeah. Do you see that changing? I see that changing right now. I mean, that also has to do with imaging, and it also has to do probably with your record company believing in you or not. I, don't th I, I take the negative as a positive. For me right now, it's at a point where people could not put a face to the music, they like the songs, but that is, I take it as an advantage right now because for me it's a new fresh start. Um, and um, I'm getting to a point right now where I have, for instance, Billy Steinberg and Rick Knowles, also known as um, writers for Madonna, Whitney Houston, and all kinds of Celine Dion, like really big writers, and I have a steady uh, um, writing companionship with them now. I just finished writing a soundtrack for an animated Disney movie. So you're branching out a little bit, too. Yeah, I, I started writing for other people. I just started writing for Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera. I, I'm, tr I'm trying to get also a little bit behind the scene. want to eventually get to yeah. producing people. Mm -hmm. and So we'll see what happens. I mean, I can only obviously take it day by day, yeah, but sure. I'm very, very busy. Your days are, f are full. Yeah.